Yeah, check it out. This your boy Genuine. You're checking out. This is RB.com. Keep it locked, right? But uh, is Brian Michael Cox the executive producer of this album? Yes, he is, along with myself. And um, he, me and him, uh, we gel well. You know what I'm saying? Like the last CD we did, uh, Man Thought. Uh, nice. Man's Thoughts, he did um, the lead singer. Turn you in your alone. Play it for your man or your lady all day long. This your famous song. Turn your radio on. Play it for your man or your lady. And, um, I was like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Go back to him. You know what I mean? I'm not one of those ones that, you know, if I get success, okay, now it's all, I'm going to do it all myself. Nah, I'm going to go back to who gave me the hit. So he, so he um, actually uh, did like three or four songs on this CD, but because I felt like I owed it to him after, you know, what he gave me on the last CD, you know, I felt like, you know, that's a good time for him to, you know, step up and, and be the executive producer too. You know what I mean? So, um, Hopefully this one will be just as successful, if not more successful, than the last one. He did a song on this one called Drink of Choice that I love a lot. That's probably my favorite song on the CD. And um, we uh, did um, another one called Frozen. It reminds me of Icebox from Marion. And it was just a song that I, I always wanted to do like a Icebox, you know what I'm saying, song. So I told him, I was like, I don't even care if it sounds just like it. I just want to do it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to get that out of your system. You know what I mean? So. He he did it and um, it, 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 it it's it's pretty similar but it's 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 a great song too. What's the studio session like with you and uh, B Cox? Um, with me, man, I'm 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 very uh, private when it comes to studio, so um, I don't even like nobody in there when I'm singing, not even him. Because if you watch him on like uh, Living a Life with with JD, mm -hmm. he's entertaining as hell. Right, right. Like, there's any, like, stories that nah, it's not like that. Nah, nah, it's a different. I think he's more comfortable with JD, probably. You know, he's comfortable with me, but it's just a different, different feel, different format. Like me, I'm very, you know, I, I ain't saying I put him out, but you know what I mean. I, he knows I don't like nobody in there while I'm singing. You know what I mean? So it's just me and the um, um, in, engineer. Uh -huh. So it's pretty, pretty boring. <laughs> with, you know what I mean? Because I mean, I don't bother him while he's doing the record. And of course, you know, after we finish, we sit sitting there talking, you know, talk about whatever, you know what I mean, or we'll go out, but it's not as entertaining probably as, as with him and Jay. <laughs> nah, it's, it's not right, not that entertaining. So on the man's thoughts, you work with a lot of different writers. How much writing did you do on Elgin? Uh, I only wrote the first verse of um, What Could Have Been, which is the lead single off of it, off the CD. And um, I didn't... Um, I didn't write a lot, man, and I, I you know, I gotta stop that. With the next, with with the next CD, I'm gonna try to put that pen to to use again. You know what I mean? Because early on in my years, I I was writing 95 percent of my CDs. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it's really, I just, I don't know, man. I got a little lazier in my in my, you know, after. Got I just I guess I got a little bit relaxed and got a little lazy also. You know what I mean? So it takes a lot to get. To get you motivated again once you've been through all the stuff that I've been through when, as, as it pertains to the music business. It just does. So, um, damn, it takes a special person. That's why I always commend like, uh, the stars on, 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 on basketball teams and stuff. Because once you get that hundred million dollars, it, it takes a lot for you to still want it like, like you broke. You know what I mean? I commend Puff. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a lot to continue to grind and you set for life, you know what I mean? Take it takes a lot. So um, it took a, it takes a lot. It took a lot um, for me to really get up and you know get back in the studio, especially because I don't even like the studio. I like I like the I love the stage, but I hate the studio. I'm not a studio. Head. So for people that don't know, mm -hmm. what records did you write that were your biggest hits early on in your career? Differences in those chains, Pony. Um, uh, what else did I do? Um, from the first, at the first album, I did everything. <laughs> but so, when Dove was crying, I'll do anything. I'm sorry. Uh, everything else, I, I wrote. The second one, um, I didn't write so anxious. Um, what's so different? I wrote what's so different, which, which was the lead single off of 100. Um, percent There it is. I wrote that. Uh, I wrote some, some. I didn't write all that. Um, um, just yeah, I mean. All, all of them really up up until the last two CDs. I had something to do with it. It's up so anxious. So you proving that you're a good writer. Have you wrote right. by anybody else? I wrote um, um, the only song I wrote was the um, "Missing You" uh, by Leah. Uh, 
She's definitely missed, man, and um, you know that them 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 were the um, the good times, man. Them were the good memories of her. What about your other collaborator, which is a late great Static Major? Yeah, that's my man. Um, love Static, man. I mean, he's he, I mean, he was uh, somebody that you know a lot of people didn't truly get to see his full talent. You know what I'm saying? He's he, he's an amazing. He was an amazing writer, and. Um, you know, he, if it wasn't for him, man, like I say, if it wasn't for him, I don't even know if I'd be here because he wrote The Hook of Pony. He, he wrote that, you know what I'm saying? When I went downstairs and um, started writing the verses, helping him, helping him write the verses, The Hook was already done, you know what I mean? And that's the song, really, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, if it wasn't for him, man, I probably, I don't know. Can't say I wouldn't be here, but maybe I wouldn't be in the platform that I, wouldn't have the platform that I had. Are we ever going to get, uh the the TGT project with Tyrese and uh, Tank. Absolutely, you probably will get that later on down the line, though. Um, right now, everybody's doing three different things, you know. What I mean? And they everybody's on three different labels and all that kind of stuff, you know. What I mean, and sometimes uh, when business is involved, not not you personally, but the people that's behind you, it just doesn't work because you know it's. it's you know, you got to collaborate three. You got to collaborate three comp companies, basically, and it'll work better if we were all um, not having a deal. If, if all of us didn't have a deal, it probably would work much better. But because you know everyone is doing different things and has it has to be so many other people involved, it's probably not going to work until later. <laughs> 